use headphones for best experience. it so much. Sometimes I feel I'm, I'm a bit absent from my channel and maybe I'm not replying. It depends um, if I'm busy or... Yeah. But I, it was uh, fantastic comments that you wrote, so I'm so glad, thankful for that, that you take the time and write, drop a comment. And uh, also I'd like to thank uh, all, all my supporters on Patreon, all new supporters, and you who um, donate by PayPal as well. So even though maybe I'm not replying every time, I do appreciate it a lot and it helps me, and encourage me and everything. So. Today I'd like to do another um, video about the geography quiz. So I did a video like this uh, about a year ago. I think I need some more light on this device. So I did a geography quiz video about a year ago and it um, became really popular and I also have um, got some requests now for making another one. So lately I have been studying or practicing some quizzes here. I'm sure there are new quizzes here that weren't here one year ago. This time I have focused a lot on Europe. So, maps about Europe is the topic for today. So here on Citara you can see there are a lot of quizzes, games. And Europe, now we're in the Europe section here, I guess. Yeah. Geography games, Europe. So let's start with... Um, Capitals, European capitals. Here. And uh, let's find Amsterdam. In the Netherlands. Luxembourg. Should not have a sound here, I think. And uh, Berlin, Germany, and uh, Helsinki, that's in Finland. And uh, Sofia, Bulgaria, Madrid. Of 
Switzerland, Minsk, Belarus, Sarajevo, that's in Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Lisbon is in Portugal. Vilnius, that's the capital of Lithuania. Chisinau, now. Uh, not sure how it's pronounced, but it's the capital of uh, Moldova. Dublin in Ireland, Valletta in Malta. Pristina in Kosovo. London in United Kingdom, Athens, Greece, Warsaw in Poland, Tallinn in Estonia, Monaco, Riga, Latvia, Oslo, Norway, Rome. Bratislava in Slovakia, Moscow, Russia, Reykjavik, Iceland, Ljubljana is in Slovenia, Zagreb is in Croatia, Copenhagen, Denmark, Vienna, Austria, Brussels, in Belgium. Prague, Czech Republic, Paris, France, Belgrade, in Serbia, Budapest, in Hungary, Kiev, in Ukraine, Tirana is in Albania, San Marino, is here, Podgorica, that's the capital of Montenegro, see there are a lot of capitals here, Stockholm, that's in Sweden, that's where I am right now, Vaduz, in Liechtenstein, Bucharest, Romania, Andorra La Vella, Andorra, Skopje, North Macedonia, Nicosia, Cyprus. It's a bit too bright still. of light perhaps okay so first we have a lot of maps showing the, the whole continent but here also we have map games from the individual countries in Europe so I've been practicing some of these as well And I'd like to start with Spain Autonomous Communities. That's really interesting, I think. Uh, Balearic Islands. It's these. Mallorca and other islands. Madrid. It's here in the center. Aragon, it's this one, Canary Islands, they are far to the south, west, Murcia, I guess it's this small one here, Castile y Leon, it's 
one of these, but I guess it's this one. Catalonia, this one. Galicia, this one. Cantabria, it's this one. Extremadura. I think that name comes from that it's located to in the extreme of some direction, and I guess it should be because it's uh, way to the west of the country somehow. Andalusia, La Rioja, Castile-La Mancha, that's the other Castile one here. And Basque Country, it's this one. Valencia, it's this one. Navarre, here. And Asturias, I guess it's the last one. So while we're here in Spain, I would l also like to practice a bit the capitals of these autonomous communities. So Valencia, once again, the capital of Valencia. And Vitoria is the capital of Basque country. Madrid, Madrid. Oviedo, mm. Oviedo is in Asturias, here. Merida, mm. I think it's in Extremadura, yes. Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. And here, for some reason, there are two capitals. But I've learned that Gran Canaria is not the big island, it's the smaller of them, so... Las Palmas de Gran Canaria should be here. And uh, Logroño. In La Rioja. And Murcia, in Murcia. And uh, Santa Cruz de... Tenerife, that's the other island here, the big one. Palma de Mallorca. Toledo, south of Madrid. Zaragoza is in Aragon. Santiago de Compostela, that's in Galicia. And uh, Santander is in Cantabria. Valladolid. Valladolid. It's this one. Castillo y León. And Pamplona. Pamplona. Yeah. Uh, it's this one. In Navarre. Sevilla, that's in uh, Andalusia. Barcelona is in Catalonia. So there we have them. Now, let's go back to the entire Europe continent for a while. Mountains, it's here to the south east, I believe. Appenines. So we have the Pennines and Appenines, and Appenines are those in Italy, I guess. Yes. Okay, here we have the Pennines. Those are in Britain. Great Britain. Balkan Mountains, bit tricky here, but I guess it's these to the very east that are called the Balkan Mountains. B 
Pyrenees, that uh, here, between France and Spain, Carpathian Mountains, quite a big uh, mountain range here to the east, or yeah, in Slovakia and Romania, Ukraine. Generic Alps. It's these uh, mountains along the coast in Croatia and neighboring countries. Generic Alps and Alps here, Switzerland, France, Italy, Austria, Scandinavian mountains. I didn't know they were called that, actually. We used to say Fjellen in Sweden. Scandinavian mountains. Ural mountains. It's at the very border of Europe. I guess the border between Europe and Asia goes along the Ural mountains in Russia. So, that was... There we had some mountains. one I'd like to try. Uh, England counties. Because I found it really interesting to learn about the, the individual counties in England. Uh, when you read about history about this region, it's really fun to compare it to the counties today. So first we had Warwickshire. Warwickshire. Um, this one it resembles to me the shape of uh, some fish or something. I think it's this one here. Yeah. Uh, the tail here, like gold fish. Tyne and where? Where is that? Uh, Tyne and where? It's uh, here. Here we have a station called Tyne Mouth, for example that we had in the shipping forecast in Sweden in the past. It was included there, the time map. Uh, so I guess Tyne River floats here. Devon, mm, that's one of those starting with the letter T. And I think this is a bit tricky actually. We have Dorset here. We have probably Devon here. I would say it's here. Then I'm not 100% sure. No, that was Durham. Okay. Devon. Where is Devon? Kind of forgot now. That's not good. Is it this one? Yeah, I didn't... I'm quite sure it's this one. Yeah. Cornwall. It's this one to the very west. Southwest and the East Sussex. So we have Sussex here. South of London. So East Sussex should be this one. Greater Manchester, that's um, here somewhere. So we have York, Liverpool. I think it must be this one. Not too big because it's an area just around one city, so the county itself shouldn't be so vast. Leicestershire, also a bit tricky because there are a lot of County starting with letter L as well. Lanka, Lincoln. Uh, I think it's th 
this one, Leicestershire. Leicestershire. Yeah. Berkshire. Mm -hmm. Also, a lot of counties starting with letter P in this area. Uh, Bedford, Buckingham. I think it could be this one. West of London, Berkshire. Yeah. And then we have Somerset. Yeah, Somerset and Dorset. It's these two. So Somerset should be this one. Herefordshire. Herefordshire. Mm, that's not Hertfordshire. That's another one. Herefordshire is here, bordering Wales, I guess. But not Shropshire, not Cheshire, not Gloucestershire. So it's Herefordshire, this one. Oxfordshire, that's Oxford, uh, located um, to the north uh, west into the Midlands here. So I guess it. It's this one, Oxfordshire. Bristol, small one, I have to zoom in a bit. So it's this one, by the Severn River, and um, close to Wales, Durham. That's the one I already clicked. One. Actually, I think I have most problems with rem remembering Durham. I'm not sure why, but uh, I guess it's I don't know much at all about Durham. So if you want to tell me something, please, please uh, mention something in the comments. So I'll, I'll have something to think about. Associate Durham with Greater London. Uh, it's around the city. London and Northamptonshire. It's um, let's see, Nottingham and Northampton, Southampton. I think it's this one. Notting Northampton, yeah. Northamptonshire. East Riding of Yorkshire. We have Yorkshire here. This is the east one. And the Merseyside. Around the River Mersey. That's here, where Liverpool is located. Cumbria. That's here in the Lake District, in the very northwest, bordering Scotland. Hertfordshire. That's uh, actually very close to Greater London. We have some tube lines stretching all the way in, into Hertfordshire and uh, Buckinghamshire as well. Kent, that's this country here by the English Channel. Bedfordshire, mm, like I mentioned, one of these, but I guess, no, Buckinghamshire and Bedfordshire, I guess this must be Bedfordshire. Yeah. Nottinghamshire, that's Nottingham, it's here. Rootland, small one. This. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce, I think about. Um, it's like a famous tomato sauce or something. I'm not sure what it's made of. I'm not using it as far as I can remember, but um, it's quite uh, famous, I guess. Isn't that the smoky sauce? Perhaps very smoky. Anyway, Worcester, 
this is cluster <laughs> cluster uh, it could be this one or maybe that one uh, this is cluster sure I think it's this one Suffolk so this is Norfolk and this is South this is, I guess, is a very, very old name. Probably from the Vikings. I'm not sure, but uh, I mean, the Nordic languages had a huge impact. Some point in history, North, North, the North folk and the, the South folk lived here somehow. Uh, Surrey, Surrey. That's south of London. But here. Gloucestershire. It's this one. West Sussex. We had East Sussex. Here we have West Sussex. North Yorkshire. Is this a uh, really big one? West Yorkshire. So York is located here, approximately. So here we have. East and then west should be here. South Yorkshire. Now we have all the Yorkshires here. One row here. Buckinghamshire. It's this one. Also, we have some tube lines uh, stretching the metropolitan line, I think. All the way to Amersham, I think it's called. And that's in Buckinghamshire. Quite sure. West Midlands. Mm, Midlands is the area here. So the West Midlands county. I guess it's a quite small county because it's the one just surrounding area of uh, the big city of uh, Birmingham. So I think it's this one. West Midlands, yeah. Cambridge, sure. That's where Cambridge is located here. To the north of London. And Lancashire. We have Lincolnshire, we have Lancashire. And uh, I always mix them up. Lanka, Lincoln. <laughs> um, I think it's this one. Try. Yeah. Lincolnshire, it's this one. Big one. City of London. There we have London. Hampshire. It's here. I think it was called Southamptonshire or Southamptonshire at some point. Now it's just Hampshire. Southampton is located here. So we have Northampton, north of London, and Southampton, south of London. Norfolk, I mentioned before. Derbyshire, Derby. It's uh, the one uh, west of Nottinghamshire, I believe. Cheshire, that's close to Wales, I know. Uh, Cheshire, I think it's this one. Yeah. Essex, east of London, northeast, actually. So we have Essex, East, and Sussex, South. We used to have Middlesex here, but it's um, today that's uh, the Greater London County since, I guess, 1960s. After 1960, we have no Middlesex County officially anymore. Here in this area, uh, Dorset. Yeah, it's this one. Shropshire, that 
that's uh, this one, bordering waves, and Isle of Wight, it's this white one here, Staffordshire, mm. I only have three left I guess, and Staffordshire I think it's a bit tricky, but I think it's this one. Wiltshire is this one, and Northumberland, the name means uh, the land north of Humber River, Humber River, I think it's here, here we have Tyne, yeah, so at some point uh, Northumbershire was larger, but now it's just this area here, Northumberland. Okay, well, I'm quite happy with this result anyway. Um, let's go back to the entire continent again. Uh, physical features could be found as well. I guess there are some rivers and But we already had the mountains, so maybe I take just the rivers now. This is really I like. I think it's difficult to memorize the rivers for some reason, but I like to have the knowledge. I'm very happy when I when I noticed I learned the rivers because it's important. I think uh, a lot of history is based on the location by a river and. You learn a lot about history when you know where the rivers are located, I think. It becomes much easier to read about history, the, you know, the Vikings and everything. They are so, the rivers are so incredibly important for human, I mean the history and agriculture and everything, and really way back in time, Stone Age and everything. So, Dnister river, that's in Eastern Europe. We have Dnieper and Dniester, quite close to each other, but I guess Dniester, Dniester river is <laughs> this one, uh, between Moldova and uh, Ukraine. Oder river. That's between Germany and Poland, and then here in Poland as well, in Czech Republic. Water. Rhine. It's uh, between uh, Belgium, Netherlands, Germany, France, Switzerland. Famous river. Uh, po River. That's in Italy, northern Italy. Tagus, Tagus, uh, that's the river floating, um, ends up here in uh, Lisbon, long river, from all the way from central Spain here. Ron River, somehow I quite often mix the French rivers up, but Ron, it must be this one. Loire, I think so. Ron. Yeah. Ural River. Then we have, of course, it must be the one most to the east because the Ural Mountains is the border between Europe and Asia. Also, the Ural River. Elbe, one of these. Ending up in. Baltic Sea or North Sea. So, Elbe River. This is, it's this one, mainly in floating mainly in Germany. Don. That's to the east, Russia. So this must be Volga because it's the longest river in Europe. 
and I think this must be done. Ebro River, it's in Spain, and I read that uh, the name Iberia, Iberian Peninsula, comes from the Greek, I think, named it that. And first they named this river Ebro, so from that name somehow Iberia is derived. At least that's a theory, I guess. Volga, mm, this one, Port de Loire, in Western France, Dnipr. Maybe I don't have to pronounce it like that, Dnipr, maybe. It's uh, this one in Ukraine, and Russia, and uh, Belarus, Danube, really long river. I guess the second longest in Europe. Vartar. I didn't know about this river until I practiced this game, but it's uh, this one. And um, Macedonia, Greece. Sam. Floating uh, through Paris. And Thames. Floating through London, of course. Vistula, that's the river floating in Poland. Okay, now let's go back to some individual countries again. Greece would be fun. Greece administrative regions. Not so many. So we have Thessaly, where I guess Thessaloniki is located. It's uh, here, north of Athens. Thessaly. Central Greece. That's. Um, looks like it should be this one, but I think it's this one here, just north of Athens. Eastern Macedonia and Thrace. It's here to the very northeast, Thrace. Western Greece. Mm, it's not this one, even if you might think so. I think this is Epirus, so then I think it must be this one. And Western Macedonia, I think it's this one. Central Macedonia, this one. Epirus, here. Northern Aegean, then we have the Aegean Sea here. I think, think it's here. Ionian Islands. This is a bit tricky because we have the historic region Ionia uh, here and also the Ionian Sea, but that's located here. So I think the Ionian Islands are actually these to the very west. And I think it should be seven islands one, two, three, four, five, six, probably. I think this island also. I've forgotten the name now, but I think that's actually part of Ionian Islands, but not on this map for some reason. Now we look at the southern Aegean uh, province or region. Um, that should be here, Rhodos and yeah, almost all the camp, all the islands. So Crete, this big island. Attica, that's uh, where Athens is located. So this island will belong to Attica according to this map. But uh, that's not what I've learned, but I'm not sure. Peloponnese, that's this island. So much history from the 
Greek myths. Um, so here you can see this peninsula here was not included. I guess that's uh, Athos with the in the monasteries and things like that. But I guess that's part of Greece anyway. The holy I think it's called being called called the holy island or something like that. Or the holy mountain probably. Let's uh, give the Netherlands a try. Provinces of the Netherlands. So first we have Flevoland. Super interesting region. I've read about it quite recently. Uh, it's these islands or or peninsulas here in the Eisel, Eiselmeer, I think it's called. Uh, it used to be called Süd Sea, the South Sea, because it used to be part of the sea, the ocean or yeah, the sea. But then in the 1920s, 1930s, they built this huge construction here, the Absolute Dike, the dam that uh, turned this into a, into a lake, freshwater lake, and named it Eisel, is it Eisel, I'm not sure, um, Meer, I think Eisel Meer, uh, and then um, this is a completely new land from the 20th century, this was just, uh, there were some some uh, really small islands here, for example Urk here is one of them, that did exist before the absolute dike, but uh, almost the entire province of uh, Flevoland is um, from the 20th century. Super interesting. Friesland, that's here to the north, and Limburg, that's to the very south. along the border to Germany. Süd Holland, that's uh, here. So Holland is basically only this part of the country. Zeeland, it's uh, this, this area with a lot of islands and peninsulas. Utrecht, it's this one. Big university city. Over Eisel. So then we have the Eisel River here, so it must be this province over the Eisel. Nord Brabant, it's not located to the north actually, because Brabant is an area in basically in Belgium, most of it or part of it is located in Belgium. So the northern part of the Brabant area is to the very south of the Netherlands, actually. Trente. Mm, that must be this one, I think. Trente. North Holland. There we have the rest of Holland. Gelderland. I think that means golden land or something like that. Gold, that's gold. Uh, Groningen, it's this part to the very north east. So that was the Netherlands provinces. And now back to Europe. I mean continent Europe, perhaps. I would like to do cities difficult version, actually. I have been practicing quite a lot on the cities. Wow. 
this looks challenging, but uh, hopefully I can remember all the cities. Okay, Milano, uh, Northern Italy. I would say it's this one. Riga, already at Riga, it's here. Vienna, a lot of them were already covered in the um, capital game. Lyon, okay. Now I have to be careful. It's not the capital of France, it's one of. I think it's this one by the Rhone River, probably. Or close to the Rhone. Katowice. It's in Poland, it's in southern Poland. Valencia, already had that one. Zagreb. Brussels. Barcelona, a lot of them were already covered. Napoli, that's in uh, southern Italy. Turin. That's in north western Italy, Piedmont area, Liverpool in, uh, in West England, click on Liverpool, Madrid, Nicosia in Cyprus, Lodz, that's in the center of Poland. Belgrade, 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 that's in Serbia, yeah. Nice, that's close to Monaco, actually, Toulouse, that's uh, close to the Pyrenees, Mountains, Sevilla, yeah. Gomel, oh, this is challenging, Gomel, I think it's in Belarus, close to Russia and Ukraine. I think it's this one. Yeah. Hanover in uh, Germany. I think it uh, must be this one. Dublin, Ireland, Chisina. Marseille, that's close to, and uh, that, that's by the coast, Cotosia. Nantes, that's uh, in the western part of France. Kaliningrad, that's in this uh, enclave here, in Russia. Uh, Copenhagen, that's in Denmark. And uh, Odessa. Mm -hmm. Ukraine, I guess this one. Prague, Paris, capitals, Luxembourg, Birmingham, in the Midlands, England. Gothenburg is Sweden's second city, it's located there, second largest. London is here, Frankfurt, mm. this is Munich, I'm not sure, I think it's this one, yeah. Edinburgh, that's uh, the eastern of the two main uh, cities in Voronezh. Uh, this is something I just have to remember. I did practice a bit. Uh, Voronezh should be. I think it's this one. Yeah. Stockholm. It says no. Leeds. That's. Uh, here, mm, close to 
to Yorkshire or if it actually is in the West Yorkshire. Uh, what did it say? Glasgow. That's the other one of Scotland. Helsinki is in Finland and uh, Warsaw is in Eastern Poland. Moscow is this one, I think. Bilbao, that's in uh, Basque country in Spain, here. And Sofia in Bulgaria, and Rome, and Kiev in Ukraine, and Bucharest in uh, Romania, and Saint in uh, Russia. Uh, Amsterdam in the Netherlands and Berlin is in uh, Germany. To the east, Budapest in Hungary, Reykjavik in Iceland and Bern in the western part of Switzerland and uh, Podgorica is in Montenegro and Nizhny Novgorod. That's one to the very east, I think. Yeah, it was. Uh, Stuttgart. That's uh, this one in Germany, I believe. And Thessaloniki. Must be this one. Minsk in Belarus and Belfast in Northern Ireland and Munich in Bavaria in Germany and Tallinn in Estonia and Bergen in Western Norway. Take a tag. Uh, I've learned that it's the one in Turkey that's not Istanbul, so must be this one. Vilnius in uh, Lithuania and uh, Rostov on Don. So we had the Don River here. This must be Rostov. Skopje. Skopje is in North Macedonia. Macedonia. Bratislava, that's in uh, Slovakia. Ljubljana is in Slovenia and Oslo is in Norway. Sarajevo is in Bosnia, Herzegovina and Palermo. Sicily Island, Italy. Venice is here, Italy. Athens is here. Pristina is here, and Granada is here in South Spain, I guess, in Andalusia as well. Istanbul, Lisbon in Portugal, Zurich, yeah. Switzerland, Kharkiv in Eastern Ukraine, I think. What do you think? Cologne, that's in uh, West. Part of Germany here, Cologne, Krasnodar, that's here, southern Russia, and Porto, that's the uh, second city of Portugal to the north, and Gdansk is in Poland, 
by the Baltic Sea. Hamburg is in the northern part of Germany. Tirana, that's in Albania. So, maybe I could get 100% score here. It was quite fun actually. So, next, let's have another individual country. I did actually practice the Nordic countries quite a lot, but uh, I mean Finland, Denmark, uh, Norway and Sweden. But I think that could probably be a separate video because now I think I will I will try France, something from France actually. There are a lot of quizzes, uh, and I think this one is really fun. It's uh, regions before 2016. So France, they did a lot of change in the regions um, not so long ago, only four years ago. So they were like merging together a lot of regions. So they were now there uh, just a few of them left. But b before 2016, it looks looked like this: the region map of France. And um, if you're interested in history, I think it's really good to know these regions as well because uh, the names and everything. It's so much history in it when you read about. Um, the history of France, you, you stumble upon these names. So, so I would like to to practice a bit on on these regions. So first we have Poitou, Charente, and I've learned that uh, that's by a quite small river called Charente River. And also here is where the uh, town. Cognac is located. Where so we have the name Cognac for the the drink, the spirits, the liquor, perhaps um, uh, from from this little town in Poitou, Charente. So it's here. Limousin. Also here we have the car, famous car. And that's uh, this small region here in the center. Limousin. Pays de la Loire. Then we have the Loire River. Uh, it's one here somewhere, I think. Probably here you can see. A little inlet here. We have the Loire River. So this should be Pays de la Loire. Upper Normandy. So Normandy is here. And I guess Upper is this one. Bourgogne, mm, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, that must be Burgundy, Bourgogne. And then I believe it's this one. A lot of history in this region. It was its own um, country for a long time, in medieval times probably. Uh, before it was, uh, the modern France was formed. Champagne, Ardennes, um, I believe it's this one. So we have Champagne, of course, Champagne, historically from this district, in the district in this uh, region. Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur, P A C A, I think it's also an abbreviation for it. So it's uh, Provence, it's here to the south east. You can see it's uh, the, the Côte d'Azur as well. Langedoc, Roussillon. This one was tricky when I was practicing, but then I read a little bit about it and I uh, learned that Lange, Lange, Languedoc, I think it's pronounced Languedoc, that means the language to Occitanie, somehow. 
and Occitanie, that's the southern part of um, uh, France, where we have this language, this old local language, Occitania, Occita Occitanian, or something like that. So, when you can see that this means the language from Oc, and then you can remember it's uh, somewhere in this area, and it's actually this one, this uh, region here, Donkey Tokyo. Lorraine, mm -hmm. um, it's here to the northwest, uh, sorry, northeast, Alsace and Lorraine. So it's this one. Centre, that's uh, this big one in the very center of France, Picardy. That's north of uh, Paris, to the north here, Picardy. Auvergne. Auvergne. Um, I think it must be this one now, when I see which one are left. Which ones are left? Auvergne, yes. And uh, Ile de France, that's where. Paris is located, it's this one, the region here, and uh, Rhône-Alpes, uh, it's around the river Rhône, and also close to the Alps, so it must be this one. Midi-Pyrénées, uh, here we have the Pyrenees, and Midi, then I think that it's the, or oh, these three, that could be candidates for the Pyrenees, I guess. It's the one in the middle, so it's this one. Nord, Pas de Calais, that's the, the one to the very north. We have Calais here. And Alsace, that's uh, the one to the very east, along the Rhine River in Germany here. Brittany, or Bretagne, that's the one, this peninsula to the west. Corsica, or of course, that's the island in the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, Franche, Franche Comte, that's the one uh, here, uh, bordering Switzerland. I think we have the Comte cheese, that is really nice. Lower Normandy, so it's uh, this one. And Aquitaine, that's the one um, um, here um, to the southwest along the Bay of Biscay, and also bordering Basque Country, I guess, and uh, the Pyrenees, the Aquitaine. And if we compare it to the to the regions we have today since 2016, you can see the difference here. And on this map it looks like the same, but uh, you, c you will see the difference when we start here playing the game. So first we have Nouvelle Aquitaine. Then I just click on Aquitaine and see what happens. Okay, so we have all these three regions here, merged into Nouvelle Aquitaine. Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur. So Provence, Alpes, Côte d'Azur, it's this one. Nothing had changed there. Ile de France, nothing changed there either. Bourgogne, Franche Comté. So then we have Bourgogne and Franche Comté. Auvergne Rhône Alpes must be this children. And uh, Centre Val de la Loire. Val de Loire. Not Pays de la, la Loire this time, but yeah. I click on Centre. So it had just changed the name. Normandy, then we have uh, Normandy 
here. I click on this one, see what happens. So, so they were merged together, the upper and lower. Pays de la Loire. Nothing changed. Occitanie. Uh, I guess it's these two. Corsica. Grand Est. Uh, I believe are these three or these two? I think these three. But I click on, on in the middle here. Yeah. And Haute de France. That's the northern part now. And Brittany. Just like before. Now let's see if we go back to to yeah. I think maybe I do. Yeah, as you can see, I closed the curtain for the window because it, it became quite bright here. That's why it looks a bit um, darker. Um, but I would like to show you actually a game I found on another site. So it's on Sparkle. Uh, and um, here it says, can you place 80 famous European regions on a map? Geography quiz. And uh, I found this one really interesting and fun, and I wanted to practice playing this quiz. There, it's uh, quite a lot of uh, questions, 80. But I mean, this it's so nice to learn about the regions of individual countries at the same time, I, I think, when you're practicing. Um, Europe's geography, not just uh, focusing on the countries, because uh, especially when you're interested in history and uh, want to read more about history and learn about history, um, it's so nice to be a bit more aware of historical important regions, famous regions for each country. Um, so, yeah, you can do that by by uh, doing this individual countries quiz that I show, just showed you, but um, this one was really nice because here you have the whole continent and you can see it's divided into countries and the countries regions and um, yeah, you stumble upon so many names that you will recognize if you learn or read about that uh, country's histories, I think the past, for the past like uh, 2000 years or so, because the map has of course changed a lot during the years, so the, the state borders are not, it's just uh, now, the time um, close to where we, uh, we are now, that uh, where it's been uh, these borders, the borders have been uh, totally different in the past, and also the names of some countries. So, um, I really wanted to do this quiz, but then I noticed that um, it was a bit uh, tricky, and a bit buggy on, the, on doing this on the iPad. So I will change now to another device. I will play it on my laptop and show you. Um, so yeah, let's change the view a bit and the device. So here we have this uh, quiz on the laptop screen, um, and um, I will start to play the quiz. And also, this one is uh, a bit different because it's a timer, so it's a countdown. Eight minutes. I only have eight minutes <laughs> to f f uh, finish this game, so I will not be able to maybe talk so much. Uh, I will try to be quite concentrated doing these 80 
uh, regions. But I can say that there, there are not only regions, there will be some uh, countries, uh, entire countries as well. I'm not sure why they, they are mixed, both regions and some countries. And um, also a fun detail is that uh, the, the, um, the question will be the name in English, but then when you click on it, you will see the name in the local language for that region. You will notice that, I guess. So let's start with this one. Play quiz. Okay. So Masovia. That's uh, this one in Poland, I guess. Livonia. Carelia, Extremadura in Portuguese, here around Lisbon, Cyprus, Paris, Ile de France, Alsace and Lorraine, Yorkshire and the Humber, Moravia. Castilla, Ingria, Jotland, that's in Sweden, Lapland, also partly in Sweden, Bohemia, Normandy, Crete, Connaught, mm, that's one of the Irish historical regions, British Midlands, Burgundy, Bourgogne, Flanders, Switzerland, Sweden, Catalonia, Moldova, and Bessarabia, Holland, North Rhine, Westphalia. Attica, Sardinia, Venice, Galicia, autonomous community, Wales, Leinster, yet another one of these, Latium, Rome, Latin language derives from that. Slovenia, Pomerania, Pomen. Scotland, Switzerland, Bavaria, Greater London, Sicily, Brandenburg, Balearic Isles. Zealand in Danish, Tatarstan, Upper and Lesser Austria, must be here, Corsica, and Tyrol, Andalusia, Hungary, Algarve, that's a uh, in southern Portugal, Iceland, Trondelag in Norway, Turu Valley, that's in northern Portugal, Valonia, southern Belgium, Faroe Islands, Dalmatia, Dalmatia, Calabria, Tuscany, Crimea and Peloponnes Peloponnese Belarus Transylvania in Romania Lombardy Lombardy uh, yeah. Devon and Cornwall 
Caucasus region, Saxony, all the Saxony regions. Yeah. Vojvodina in the north of Serbia, Slovakia, Piedmont in the northwest, Italy, Basque country, here. Silesia, that's in southern Poland. Anatolia, that's uh, here in Turkey. Provence, P A C A. Cyclades, that's the islands here in Greece. Munster, Munster. Yet another one of these regions in Ireland. Thrace. That's in northern Greece and neighboring countries. East Anglia. Valachia. That's also in Romania, I guess. Moscow Oblast. Here. Brittany. Macedonia. Here we have north and south. East and everything in Macedonia. And that was it, I guess. So you can see two, two minutes and twenty three seconds I had left, so I was not in a hurry. But here you can see all the names in the local language. I see if I can zoom in a bit. Names Connaught and Mumhain Liking it is Flandern, Valony, Belgium. Extremadura, Euskadi, or the Basque country in the Basque language, Bourgogne for Bur Burgundy, and Schweiz for Switzerland. One is tricky. Magyar, Magyarorsak for Hungary. Dalmatia, Dalmatia. Macedonia. Anatolu. Transylvania, Moldova, so 
So, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was really fun to both practice for a while and all these quizzes and learn at the same time, of course, about uh, deeper knowledge about uh, European geography, regions in each country, cities, rivers, mountains. And thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your support. Stay safe.